in this session we are going to talk about functions okay and we are going to start off with defining what a function is okay first of all just understand that a function is denoted as a function f which is from a to b okay and it is written as like this function f from a to b okay and we define a function as it's a relation okay it's a relation from a to b in which every element of a appears exactly once in the ordered pair okay appears exactly once as the first component of the ordered pair as the first component of the ordered pair let us understand what this means so we are talking about a ordered pair which basically means we are talking about the elements of this relations right so if i have a comma b then this is a ordered pair and a is the first component of the ordered pair okay since our function f is from a to b then we have a belongs to capital a right and we have b belongs to capital b okay so our definition says for all ordered pairs okay just look over here for all ordered pairs a element of a element of a let us suppose my element of a is small a appears exactly once as the first component so i should only have a comma b okay i should not have a comma c in my relation if i have a comma c as well in my relation then i cannot call this relation a function if you have to define a function in terms of predicate logic what you are going to say is if you have a comma b a element of your relation f and if you have a comma c a element of your relation f then it should imply that sorry this is a comma c okay then it should imply that b is equal to c okay so you should not have two distinct elements b and c i'm just going to write over here should not have two distinct elements b and c such that both a comma b and a comma c belong to f okay so this is the condition that should be satisfied for a relation to be called a function okay let us understand a few concepts about relations that would help us realize the concept of functions better okay so let us suppose i have a relation which is from a to b okay so let us suppose this is my set a okay over here is my set a and over here i have my set b okay let me just write this a and write this b i have few elements in my set a and i have few elements in my set b as well okay a relation of the type where each element of a is related to exactly one element in b something like this 
you have this is related only to this okay this guy is related only to this guy and this guy is related only to this guy okay then such a function sorry uh, such a relation over here is called as one to one relation okay and if this is a function then it would be called as a one to one function okay this is going to be a function because we we do not have two elements of b being related to the same element in a okay there are no two elements present in b as you can see which is related to the same element in a and that is the condition of my function over here okay there should not be two elements in b such that they both are related to the same element okay hence a one to one relation is going to be a function okay now we also have something called as a many to one relation so let me just copy this as it is okay and i am going to paste it down here so let us suppose this is a relation from a to b okay in that case if i have something like this if i have two elements over here let's suppose this and this they are both related to the same element over here okay something like this and let us suppose this guy is related to this guy okay in that case we call this relation a many to one relation okay we have many elements over here which are in this case two elements being related to a single element of b okay therefore we call this a many to one relation again a many to one relation is also a function because the reason is we do not have any two elements over here which is related to same element of a okay now the other type of relation that we can look over here is something called as one to many okay we have seen one to one we have seen many to one now let us see what is one to many